Hello, and welcome back. And it helps if I flip the microphone down. Hello, and welcome back to this FBF live stream of Mass Effect 2. My name is John, and I'm Final Boss Fights Resident Tech Ninja. And the chat is ready to display messages. Um, I'm just going to plow on with some Mass Effect 2. Uh, I've come down to the lower decks, or at least one deck down. Let's just quickly catch up with. Chef surprise again. Come on, Rupert. Obviously, Crewman Hawthorne and Miss Sergeant Gardner. Nope, we're here to see our new recruit. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. I'm pleased to see that you're getting along with the new crew. They're as friendly to me as people from a group like Cerberus can be. And they've got you vouching for them. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. How did those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. They didn't last long. Do you know where Sidonis is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sidonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Should we go have a bitching session with Miranda as well? We've been getting on so well anyway. Her office is here. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Well, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Whatever you need. Well, no new renegade points there, but... Hustle, hustle, hustle. Let's head back upstairs and back into Omega. And see about getting another member of the crew. See, I think we can probably do two or three tonight. You got any messages that you took now? I'm just trying to keep an eye because I know that last uh, last week we had a couple of dropped frames. I'm just trying to keep an eye on it to see if it happens at any particular time. from Tesco's that are deliciously Moorish. Oh, 
I got some. Now the cryo armor, that's good for freezing them once you've taken away their shield. That's great for taking care of their shield. Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. Hey, we have a galaxy to save. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business. Your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Go ahead and get set up on the Normandy. Right. I'll go make myself at home. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. I'm assuming there's some part of your contract that I'm expected to handle. That about right? Yeah. Funny he didn't tell you. Yeah, it's Except hilarious that a while back, Just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago. He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Elfel Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. We'll get to it if we can. Our mission takes priority. I know you've got bigger fish to fry. That's why I'd like to get this other thing dealt with as soon as possible. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stick. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. See you soon, Zaid. interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. No one in their right mind would pay these prices for salvaged parts. <laughs> I know. It's crippling my sales. Drop your prices and I'll consider buying. Otherwise, I'll keep walking. You're right. I'll give you whatever you like for the original price. And if this gets back to Harrod, I'll deal with it then. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. The owner is forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Herrick control your prices? Herrick made me swear not to undercut it, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. He can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I can go talk to Herrick for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, maybe I'll get off this station after all. 
This shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. See, that's how a renegade... Excited. Welcome, human. What can I get for you? I understand you have an arrangement with the quarry over there. Suspicious? Of course. A businessman must enter certain agreements in it's order okay. to stay it's, yeah. in business. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. If you're worried about competition, why not just buy out his store? Intrigued. I had not considered that before. My fellow merchants on Omega are not known for being easy to shut down. A weak, homesick kid like that shouldn't be a problem for a man like you. Devilishly excited. I have plans to expand. On your advice, I will conquer the Quarian child. Grateful to thank you for your counsel. I offer you a discount at all of my stores. What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts, all kinds, mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. He's a second-hand tech sales. Courteously, have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. I do like the visor. Oh! Ah, why not? Seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Vorcha no, aren't a friendly no, race. You stay away. We kill you. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? <laughs> Go away. Talk too much. Gavorn stops. Get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gavorn's tricks. We leave. Bye.
Yeah, I'm trying to get to the quarantine zone where Morden is treating people. So is that fair? Human, there's a plague. Nobody. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? Yeah, a crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The blue sons weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck. The area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. Take a good long look at me. Do I look like a looter? Uh, no. That's right. Now I'm going in. If I find looters, I'll kill them. Anybody gets in my way, I'll kill them too. I'll call the guards. They'll let you in with no trouble. Wait, you're stopping me but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Technically, I don't either. I've got a, a quarantine an zone for a plague that kills Turians. Why don't we ever go anywhere nice? It's safer to stick with a squad who's immune to the plague. It's your call, Shepard. If you need me, I'm not going to let a cough keep me back. That may have been a Paragon option. Can take one or two. Well, let's try our new mate, Zaid. We're humans and immune. Uh, Zaid, level yourself up. It's good not to have to kill you. Good luck in there. The blue suns and vortures shooting anything that moves. 